So I'm a big fan of Tim Ferriss's fear setting exercise. It all started from this TED Talk video he gave back in 2017, it looks like, and it has almost 12 million views. I highly recommend watching this video to help you basically think through making a big decision in your life, whether it's getting a new job, asking someone to marry you, whatever it may be. Of course, I had to turn this into a template, which I did here. This is in Coda, of course, where I work, and it walks you through every step of the exercise from defining your fears to preventing them to repairing them, benefits and costs, so on and so forth. This is great, but I thought about what if I could use AI to do this exercise for me and apply it to some big decision in my life. So that's, that's what this demo will show. This hasn't come out yet in Coda, so I'm just gonna kind of show what's possible. First of all, I'm just gonna show some basic stuff that all AI can do these days. Let's say I wanna do something like describe the describe Tim Ferriss's fear setting exercise, enter. And it gives you a nice summary Tim Ferriss' fear setting exercise is a process of identifying and analyzing one's fears, defining the possible worst case scenario and its consequences, and finding actionable steps to prevent or mitigate them. Pretty good summary. Let's say I want to create a list of action items for doing the fear setting exercise by, exercise by Tim Ferriss. Enter. So this is a little more structured. You get like a step-by-step -step Step one, make your list of fears, worst case scenarios, list the consequences, identify the ways, prevent and mitigate the risk. So a little easier to understand. So this type of just generative AI or whatever, this is like table stake. This is so like easy for ChatGPT or other tools. I mean, this is very like January, 2023, right? So let's take this one step further and ask AI or GPT to apply the fear setting exercise to one of these common, well, in my, in my mind, these pretty big decisions in life, like someone who's struggling, struggling to get a promotion at work, someone who's deciding to quit their job. So let's say I select this and I want to basically tell GPT to apply the fear setting exercise to this big decision. Click on that and the AI and code is still a little buggy, so I have to like click on this and then click fill. And let's see what it spits out. Oops. And here we go. So we're basically telling AI or GPT, apply the fear setting exercise to someone who is assigned whether or not to quit their job. And here it goes. It says, here's a step-by-step -step approach to find the worst case scenario. What if I don't find another job? What if I run out of savings? What if my skills become obsolete? What are the consequences of inaction? Um, will I continue to be productive? And so this is actually a pretty good like analysis. If you were to do this on your own and kind of go step by step through the fear setting exercise, GPT actually gives you a pretty good summary and action plan for how you would apply that framework to this decision of whether to quit your job. Let's pick another one here. I just came up with these. Um, someone who is considering seeing a therapist about depression. It's kind of a more serious tone here. Click fill again. And it's gonna think. And here are the steps to apply Tim Ferriss' first exercise to someone who is considering seeing a therapist about depression. Worst case scenario is you could include things like being charged, you're not improving, write down the benefits of seeing a therapist, including potential improvements to your mental health and well-being. Make an informed decision with all the information gathered, taking account the benefits, costs, and so it's pretty cool. Like it, you can basically give this a create a list of important decisions in your life, work, personal, whatever, and have it come up with the fear setting exercise applied to that. Let's try one more. Someone who is deciding whether to ask their significant other to marry them. Let's do one more fill here. I know this is a bug. I've gotta log this with the engineers to get it fixed. Let's see here in the first column. What if she says no? What if I'm not ready? In the prevent column, what 
write down what could be done to prevent their fear from becoming a reality. For example, they could spend more time talking to their significant other about their future together and finding out if their long-term goals align. So it's not like very super specific, but it's still like pretty good at molding the fear setting exercise to these different decisions. So let's take this one step further. And I got this from, I think some newsletter and I want to apply the fear setting exercise to these important decisions, but in the voice of some famous person. So let's say I pick Bill Gates for someone starting a promotion at work. And I'm gonna click on this thing again. Nope, oh, I can't, here we go. Bill. So again, this is asking GPT, apply the fear setting exercise and give it the, say it from the voice of Bill Gates. This isn't perfect, but it, it sounds okay. Let me try a different one. This one doesn't seem to be too good. Someone who's signing with their, with their job. Let's try this one. Yeah, that, I find that the results here are sometimes kind of spotty, but sometimes it actually does it in the voice of the person that I pick here. Certainly, here's a step-by-step -step approach to applying Tim Ferriss' fierce exercise as someone who is deciding whether to quit their job. All this seems pretty standard. Good luck with your decision. Let's try some another famous person. Let's try Kim Kardashian. Yeah, let's fill this again. Okay, so here's what you gotta do to apply Tim Ferriss' fear setting exercise if you're deciding whether or not to quit your job. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try King Kardashian applying the fear setting exercise to someone who is deciding whether to lose 50 pounds to live a healthier lifestyle. Let's see what she has to say about that. I think what makes this a little more interesting is that it's not just some computer giving you a computer kind of answer. It's giving you the giving you the answer in the voice of this quote unquote influencer, celebrity, expert. All right, here's a step by step approach for how to apply Tim Ferriss' fierce exercise to someone who is deciding whether to lose 50 pounds. Seems pretty straightforward. Doesn't seem like it's coming from the voice of Kim Kardashian. Let's try. LeBron, that's right, Joe Biden for someone who's struggling to get a promotion at work. Let's see how he would advise on doing this fear setting exercise for this big decision. What do you have to say, Joe? First off, thank you for this great question. So you can see how, how it kind of sounds like something that President Biden would say. Step one, step two, step three, fulfilling job. Remember, remember, it's the courage to take action that leads to success in both life and career. That's pretty cool. Now, let's try to test the edges of GPT. Let's try to do Adolf Hitler. And there are, of course, edges that GPT will not do. I think this is one of them. Yep, I cannot comply with that request as it goes against my ethical and moral principles. Fine. Let's try a different prompt. Someone who's signing to quit who is assigned to quit their job to do a startup, and let's try to ask Taylor Swift. Let's see how she would apply. So this is another one of the edge cases. Oh, I think it worked. First identify, remember taking risks can lead to great rewards. So not exactly a great response, but so pretty. Let's see if Taylor Swift can say something about someone who is considering seeing a therapist about depression. First, try to quiet your mind and focus on the decision to see a therapist. Remember, taking care of your mental health is important and seeking help is a sign of strength. Sounds kind of like Taylor, I guess. Let's try one more Donald Trump with, let's say someone who is deciding whether to quit their job. Let's fill this again. Let's see what the AI does here. First of all, let me tell you that the fear of quitting your job is something that many people face. However, using Tim Ferriss' fear setting exercise can be a helpful approach to deal with it. Here are the steps. Write down the worst possible likelihood, blah, blah, blah. 
Remember, remember every decision involves risk, even continue to work in your current job. But fear shouldn't hold you back, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, it works. So that, that kind of sounds like something Donald Trump would say. So, of course, I have to do this with Incept. I have to like Incept this with myself. So let's see what GPT would say for myself, Al Chen, giving advice about how to apply fear setting to someone who's deciding whether to quit their job. I think there's enough content on the interwebs about from me that I've put out there that it should be able to train a model. Let's take a look. Let's see what I have, what GPT says I would have to say about this exercise. Sure thing, here's a step-by-step -step approach for applying Tim Ferriss's fear setting exercise to someone deciding whether or not to quit their job. Very wordy, which is similar to what I would do, I guess. I hope this helps. Eh, it doesn't really sound like me, but <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's kind of like inception of inception of this exercise. So in case you're wondering how this works on the back end, actually I'm curious what Elon Musk would say. How would he apply the fierce exercise in his voice on someone who's deciding whether to quit their job? First identifying, seems pretty standard, doesn't seem too unique to him. So the way this works is using GPT in Coda. There's a column here. This is the prompt that changes as you're changing the prompt here. If I change this to this, and then I change this to like some person, notice how this prompt will change. And this prompt generates the, helps generate the AI here, the AI response. Now this is like going against ethical boundaries, but it's essentially taking my selections in these first two drop downs and putting it into the full prompt here. And then eventually this bug will get fixed, but this AI will help you generate the fear setting exercise response. I'm just gonna hide this for now. Oh, this is pretty cool. LeBron James applying the fear setting exercise to someone who wants to become a digital nomad. Remember, the key is to push through fears and take action to achieve your goals. As I always say, strive for greatness, be fearless, and never give up. It's pretty cool. So on the back end, I have a few things here. This is the original like question prefix. How would you apply Tim Ferriss's fear setting exercise to? And then all these things here, and you can just add more potential tough decisions that would you can apply the fear setting framework to. And then I have a list of the people and I can just add more people here as well. And that's basically how you can contribute, how you can create this simple kind of like combination of a decision plus the person. And then the fear setting exercise is kind of baked into the prompt. So just kind of an exploration of how you can utilize a celebrity, an influencer, some expert's opinion and apply that person's perspective or voice to GPT. Let me know what you think.